In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for the eternal rest of Charles Ruffin. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whose grace, those sinners, we are made just, and though pitiable, made blessed, stand, we pray, by your works, stand by your gifts, that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the apostles and the presbyters, My brothers, you are well aware that from early days God made his choice among you that through my mouth the Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God who knows the heart, bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit, just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for by faith he purified their hearts. Why then are you now putting God to the test by placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear. On the contrary, we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way as they. The whole assembly fell silent and they listened while Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, James responded, my brothers, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophets agree with this, as is written. After this, I shall return and rebuild the fallen hut of David from its ruins I shall rebuild it and raise it up again so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord, even all the Gentiles on whom my name is invoked. Thus says the Lord who accomplishes these things known from of old. It is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them by letter to avoid pollution from idols unlawful marriage, the meat of strangled animals, and blood. For Moses, 
for generations now has had those who proclaim him in every town as he has been read in the synagogues every Sabbath. The word of the Lord. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples his wondrous deeds. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loved me, so, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Yesterday, the Lord told us that we have to remain in, in Him, to remain on the vine. Today the Lord tells us, if you want to remain in me, you have to keep my commandments. If you want to remain in my love, you have to keep my commandments. You have to love one another. You have to be generous. You have to forgive. You have to imitate me. You have to do your job well. You have to fulfill your obligations. Doing this, you will remain in my love. And what are the fruits of remaining in his love? The Lord says today, I have told you this so that my joy might be in you. If you keep his commandments, if you remain in his love, you will participate in his joy, in his joy and your joy might be complete. If we keep his commandments, if we are united to him, if we love him and love one another, we will have our joy complete, complete. You will achieve the true joy, not the joy of the world, but the true joy. Whenever you love, you achieve the true joy, you attain the true joy. If you remain in Christ, you will participate in his love, in his joy, and no one will take away that joy from you. What the Lord is telling you today is that the only way you can attain this joy is whenever you love, whenever you imitate Christ, whenever you remain in his love. Well, 
Let us give thanks to the Lord because he has come to make us partakers of his joy, of his love. Let us imitate him. Let us keep his commandments. And his commandments are not a burden that take away from us freedom. Not, no. His commandments set us free to love. Set us free to love. You know, whenever you love, you might think, yeah, but what is, what is the profit that I can get from this? What is my profit? What is my recompense? Because the one who is being um, rewarded with my love is the one I love. But you know what? That person can get something from you whenever you love. But what you get, which is joy, that will be never be taken away from you. So let us pray in silence, giving thanks to Jesus for his teachings. And remember, he's giving you the key to achieve happiness. Today, he's giving you the key to live in joy and that your joy may be complete in him. Let us pray in silence. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, for the church, the world, and for one another. For our leaders in the church, that they may discern their way through the issues that confront the church today with the same attention to the movement of the spirit that characterized the apostles, let us pray to the Lord. For the nation, especially for Venezuela, that among them the Lord may be king and direct their leaders to govern in equity so that they may be worthy of the blessings of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. That with the first Gentiles, our hearts may be purified by the Holy Spirit and faith so that we may bear joyful witness to the salvation of Jesus Jesus has one for all. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are suffering in body, mind, or spirit, that they may receive the grace to remain in the love of Jesus in the midst of their trials, so as to have comfort and peace of heart. Let us pray to the Lord. For our beloved, for our beloved dead, especially for Charles Ruffin, that their purification may be completed through the merits of this holy sacrifice and their joy made complete in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful God, hear our supplications and grant what we ask you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Charles our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you through all the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Regina Cedi Letare Alleluia Quia Quem meru isti portare Alleluia Resurrexit Sicultixit Alleluia Ora pro nobis Deum. Alleluia.